I'm here with Nebel Ejifinderson, who is the chairman of the African Choral and Gospel Championship. The first edition has just ended, and I'm blown away, actually. I, I can't believe that this has actually been executed, and I can't wait to find out from you how you are feeling after years of planning this. Ah, fantastic. I feel fantastic. I feel excited. I feel overjoyed. How many years has it been since you first thought of this idea and today? This idea came into my mind when I started with Heavenly Jewish Quran. Which that's, I, that's your that, that happened to be my crowd. And I think just about a year after I formed the group, I heard of the World Power Games. Right. In fact, I sponsored people to go and study it and bring me a feedback. So I was the only person who sponsored people to go and support Harmonious Program for Ghana. I sent people to go and study it. I, my business schedule will not permit me to sit through the entire period. So I sponsored three people from Africa to go and study what just observe it and then come and give me a feedback. So this is somewhere around 2018. The report was that, Tema, we can do an African team. And my team convinced me that we can do it. Throughout my working life, I've been looking for the opportunity to bring the African youth together. And with my love for music, I thought that the single thing that can bring all of us together as Africans is music. So, I set myself on that agenda. But uh, in my language, it is said that one man does not kill a horse. <laughs> if you want to kill a horse, you need quite a number of hands to assist you. So I look to you and see that who in Ghana can help me to, to really get to this dream that I have? Because it is so big a dream that when I sleep, <laughs> and I begin to ponder. I don't know whether I can have the right people to help me to educate. It was that serious for you? It was that serious for me. In fact, I was prepared to spend any resource at my disposal to get to this dream come true. I am an ardent supporter of Amonio's Even though I have my own plan, right. I mean, I don't know whether you check their YouTube page or the number <laughs> of times that I visit them. In my office, if I'm not listening to maybe, maybe some readings, if I'm not doing it, I listen to them. I followed a man for my time, and I realized that that guy is serious. Yes, it is. He's, he's a focused person, and he's somebody that if I manage to get him to buy into this dream, he can share it. And, 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 and. So, in one of their concerts, I've forgotten the name, this is around 2019, when they finished the concert, I invited James. This was 22nd October 2019. You remember the exact yes. date? And I invited them, him and Maki Jungan, his friend from South Africa, together to my office. And I told them that, gentlemen, this is the dream I have. Can we share it? It's a dream. It is the dream we also have. But we'll be looking for the opportunity to see how we can execute it. Okay, then I said, you know what? <laughs> it is no longer my dream. It is our dream. And the rest is And the rest is history. Is history. Mm -hmm. There's a certain perception about Africa that we can't we can execute quality. And we, anytime we think of quality, we think of somebody coming from a Western world to assist us to put up quality. But this concept or this leading edition of African Quran and Gospel Championship has proven, and I'm delighted, that we have proven to the world that we don't need anybody to put out quality. We have all that it takes to produce whatever quality that you want, international standard, African standard, country standard, in any standard you want to have, we have it here in Africa. I know that initially we wanted to hold this in South Africa yeah. and there were so many things planned around yeah. workshops, etc. Yeah. Then, because of COVID issues yeah. and all of that, we had to be relocated here to Chigali. Yeah. 
Has Chigali met your expectations as the first host city of the ACGC? It is said that every misfortune is a blessing. That that is if that is true, then indeed I have experienced it for the first time. Because we're we're so much poised to go and blow away South Africa. And you know, in terms of music, South Africa has a certain pedigree on the continent. Yes. So taking the first edition to South Africa was to rally a lot of quality in terms of music, in particular choral music, from that side of of our continent together. Unfortunately, COVID came to scatter our plans. In the midst of that, we still had that kind of determination that this project must be executed and executed well. And so we set ourselves on the agenda of looking for the next alternative. We look around the continent for a program like this. It is new, so you need a certain level of discipline, you need a certain level of quality, you need a certain level of commitment of the people to be able to make it successful. In fact, we had these three in Kurad Gadi, and they were willing to host us amidst all the odds to give us the best, and for us to also know that country, that they still represent the best in Africa for me. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you think of countries, as you said, that are musically yeah. inclined, yeah. you don't automatically think of Rwanda, but no. I have been blown away. You have been blown I have been blown away. Yeah. What is next for ACGC? 2022 is done and dusted. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. How big is this going to get? I mean, this alone, I yeah. think the first edition has been huge. We've yeah. had Ghana, South Africa, Nigeria, Togo, Ivoire, Cameroon, Gabon, so many African countries converging here. What's going to happen in the 2023 edition? Well, um, it is said that any animal, if it wants to develop fat, must look at the pig. Yeah. If any animal, if it wants to become fat, it must copy the pig. Okay, so, Rwanda is a certain level of pig. Mm -hmm. And if you want to become bigger than that, then we have to look at it. So, I want to tell Africa that they should prepare and that the second edition will be something that the whole world, our, our projection is not for Africa. Our target is for our own burden in the diaspora, the African American community, the Asian community. Our projection is to be able to rally everybody that believes in the culture of Africa globally together and we hope the next edition will put them together. Congratulations. Thank you. That's all I can say because honestly we've been here for a week. It has been phenomenal seeing such talent all in one place and all African. And it's thanks to you and your team that this has happened. So we're gonna look forward to the next edition of ACGC 2023. We'll find out where it will be, in what city, in what country, we don't know. But we'll reveal that soon. Congratulations again. Thank you. Your smile says it all. <laughs>